Thank you very much, Susan, and thank you very much to all of you for being here today. I'm Chris Mathis. I'm seeking your support, and I'll also be a candidate in 2022. We owe Randy Freeze a debt of gratitude, and whoever fills the seat will need to have significant experience. I believe my legal, legislative, and personal background put me in a position to hit the ground running in Phoenix. Our democracy is under attack. I'll help preserve it and stand up for reproductive rights and for voting rights. An Arizona version of the Texas abortion law will come our way in January. It must be stopped. And Republicans in Phoenix are continuing to do everything they can to make it harder for all of us to vote. We cannot allow these efforts to succeed. Arizona Republicans have gutted our public schools. There's a teacher shortage. Many lack proper certification and training and we're still 50th in teacher pay. Dead last is simply not acceptable, particularly in a state with our growth and economic resources. We can do much, much better. Democracy is based on people working together to solve problems. And we're facing some very tough ones. Our cap water supply is endangered as never before, largely due to climate change. Now is not the time for half measures to address this situation. Our nursing homes and other elder care settings are virtually unregulated, just as more and more of our fellow Arizonans are in need of this kind of care. This needs to change. I know this because I practiced elder law in Tucson for 15 years. And I teach courses on healthcare law and policy and aging at the University of Arizona. I've worked in the Illinois General Assembly, the US House, the British Parliament, and as a healthcare legislative assistant in the United States Senate, where I staff the Health Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. I served as former state rep Nancy Young Wright's campaign treasurer in 2010, and I'm proud she's endorsed my candidacy. My wife, Colleen, served from 2011 to 2021 as chair of the Arizona Independent Redistricting Commission. Once she stepped into that role, I stepped down from mine as an elected Democratic PC for the length of her 10 year term. Now I'm back. My academic background includes undergrad and law degrees from the University of Illinois, a Master of Public Administration from the Harvard Kennedy School, and a Master of Public Health from the Harvard School of Public Health. I've also worked on healthcare reform as a professional staff member at Harvard Medical School. This matters because I'll use all of this background and experience at the Capitol to build relationships and fight for Southern Arizona on the floor and committee. To be honest, I really like fighting these Phoenix Republicans. As some of you know, I've been doing it now for 10 years. But in addition to providing tenacious advocacy for democratic policies, I intend to try to work across the aisle when appropriate to find willing partners to help make Arizona a better place to live and work. I ask for your vote as one of the three nominees today. Thank you all very much for your time and attention.